Hey guys, how's everyone doing today? Um, so in today's video, um, I'm just going to cut right to the chase. I'm going to be showing you guys how to install your tires tubeless on either your mountain bike or sometimes people do it on unicycles, but most of the time they do it on mountain bikes. Now, first thing you want to take notice of is you want to make sure both your rim and your tire are both tubeless compatible. So what that means is on the side somewhere, it should say tubeless compatible because it does differentiate between non-tubeless compatible and tubeless compatible tires. So the tools that you're gonna need for this setup are of course your tube and your rim and your whole wheel setup. This is tubeless tire sealant and um, they do make bike specific brands of sealant. I have this Stan's No Tubes tire sealant. They do make other brands. You're going to need a Presta and Schrader valve adapter, which looks like this. You're going to need, I use two tire levers. Sometimes you can use one, but it is more difficult. I like to use two. I have these um, part tool, um, these are really like heavy metal um, tire removers. And the last thing you're going to need is a air compressor. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is make sure you have um, what's called rim tape on the inside of your tire. So if you look at mine, you'll notice that this inside there's this um, kind of yellowish tape, and that just makes sure there's no um, air pockets on the inside. And so I've already taped mine, but if you haven't, you can do it yourself or you can have another person help you with it. Next, what you wanna do is you want to what's, make sure this valve stem right here is secure. And then what we wanna do once that's secure, you wanna do what's called setting the bead. Now, when we set the bead, we want to have it so that the valve stem is on the top at first. And when we set the bead, what we want to do is we want to fold the side that's on the outside of the tire so it's on the inside. So up close, we take this outside layer and fold it over until it just goes in just like that. And you should hear it pop in just like that. But we don't wanna do it all the way. We want to leave a little bit of room. So we wanna just do it a little bit until we have a little bit of room down at the bottom to put in our sealant. So once we've got it like that, just double check it to make sure it's all good. Then what we can do, here, let me just move that back a little bit. So then what we can do is we wanna take our tubeless tire sealant and we want to pour it in the bottom of our, our tire. And we only want to pour about two ounces, not, not very much. So I'll do that up close. Let me just see this, this bead keeps coming off. I just got to make sure it's set enough. There we go. All right. So I'll show this to you guys up close. See how there's a small opening in just the bottom of my tube? I wanna take the sealant and just put a little bit, not too much. Okay, that's enough. Now that we've got our sealant, I don't know if you can see it, but it's in the tube. So now that we've got that in there, 
we just want to rotate the tube around so that that sealant goes and makes its way all around the whole tube so that it seals any small holes or anything that might be in there all the way around then we stand it up on the other side so that this opening is at the top. And now this is when we use our two tire levers to fold this final part back over the rim. So the way we do that is see how this goes, the outer edge, and there's the curved inner edge. We want the outer edge to go, we want the curved inner edge to face away from us. So we tuck it underneath and we kind of just fold to the tire over the rim. And so what we have to do is we have to keep a hold on one side because sometimes when you're folding it over, it will um, catch on the other side and it won't fold properly. And we want to make sure it gets all the way over the side. And it does take a little bit of work sometimes, but it's not too bad. So we finish folding this over. Just, oh man, okay, see, yeah. I didn't put enough pressure on and the whole side came off. So. Now we gotta put this back on here. All right, so now we can just finish popping that on. You gotta do it a little bit close to the edge sometimes. It does take a little bit of work. See, yep, and then just make sure that's like that. Yep, everything looks good. And then we just push this side on. Yep, it does take a lot of work sometimes. But see, now I've just got this one last section over here. We can pry this in. We can just fold that over like that. So now, now you've got all of your, your tire on, on both sides. So now we find the valve stem and you wanna make sure this is all the way unscrewed. All right, so now that we've got our adapter for our valve stem, we just wanna screw it on with the wider side on the valve stem. So press it, and then you should be able to just screw it like that. And once it threads, that's good. So then we take, flip it back over, and we wanna take our um, air compressor, press it up against here, and it up and you'll start to hear some popping sounds but that's completely normal and then oh. and then you might need to hit it once or twice and do you notice how it's leaking down here so I'll try and plug that if I can and we might need to rotate it to stop that and so the other day I um put in a there was a little hole here so I put in kind of a stopper and so today I was just testing it out and so see now for the most part, the tire is solid. So we'll give it just a little bit more air, just to make sure. Oh. 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 
And then from here, once it's tight, except mine has air still leaking out of it, but that's pretty much the gist of it. So now you've got a firm tire that's tubeless. I So remember earlier how I said you might have to drop the tire. So I just did a quick drop and that just that final pop got it and so this part it's not leaking air anymore it had one final bead to set and it set so all right um i hope you guys enjoyed that video um if you found it entertaining drop a like and if you learned something then that's good too um i hope you did learn something and see you in the next one um it's gonna be another tutorial video but you'll see what it is next time okay bye guys